Derek really wrote a great art arc to this character, and it was so refreshing to see as an actor because uh, oftentimes you'll see a part for a mother, and they're very peripheral or very two-dimensional, and there's no real arc. And, and this part uh, was so unprecedented, and I don't think I've seen another parental part like this. Um, and very <laughs> weird, very... Uh, very easy to relate to on a lot of levels, um, and yet, you know, at first glance, it might not seem that way. But again, the, these characters were saying things that I've heard, you know, that I, I've, I've felt, I've thought, um, and I love the way they captured those moments in life where you where you do lose control and you say things that you end up regretting, you know, for for quite mm -hmm. some time. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the there's always hope after that. A more, little more people are people, although what was interesting is, you know, a lot of the set deck was, uh, I mean, the, the people who worked on this film were on it because they loved it. And, and every department did such a brilliant job on a very small budget. And, and to see what these people recreated was, I mean, it was painfully familiar. Um, different things from 1979, the, the, the cups, you know, <laughs> the wallpaper, the lamp. The Star Wars, you know, memorabilia. Mm -hmm. um, that really was very effective. And uh, also what, I guess, parents or people were, uh, or what the, the sort of images you had to keep up or, or the kind of role, roles you were trying to fit into that maybe didn't quite fit. Um, and, and that always happens, but uh, it, it's, that's a very featured aspect of the film, particularly for, I guess, my character. Mm -hmm.